Hello. All right. How's it going? Okay, good. Look at that. Look at my beard. Uh, got a slightly ginger beard. Um, big deal, right? I'm going for a Ewan McGregor sort of Obi-Wan Kenobi at the moment. Obi-Wan Kenobi? That's a name I haven't heard since... Mm. My Obi-Wan Kenobi. He never does that in the film. I don't remember Obi-Wan Kenobi doing that in any of the Star Wars movies. Obi-Wan Kenobi? No, don't remember. Sorry, can I go back to bed now, please? That's like the sleepy version of Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is what I am today. Because um feeling a bit sleepy today. Ugh. Obi-Wan Kenobi? Um, no, sorry, not today. Too too tired. Got too many things to do. That's if Obi Wan Kenobi was um, sort of sleepy and lazy and not interested. And Luke Skywalker turns up at his house. Do 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 do. I'm my name's Luke Skywalker. I'm here because I want to become a Jedi like my father before me. And uh, are you Obi Wan Kenobi? And he goes Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, just make some coffee for me and I'll think about it. Um. All right, so I'm going to start doing an episode of the podcast now, and uh, I'm going to try and get it all correct. I'm going to try do it, doing it properly, and I'm going to press record on my device. Wait a minute. So there's the device. I don't know if you can see that. There it is that thing there. So I need to press record on that. Oh, is this is the framing right now? I have to make sure the framing is right because uh, you know. Apparently, that's important. Oh, see, it's a professional setup here at Luke's English Podcast. Obviously, I'm deeply professional at all times. Uh, all right, then. So, right, ready? Be quiet, quiet. Here we go. Actually, I need to make sure that's the right volume. For more information, visit teacherluke.co.uk. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. We haven't started yet. I'm just checking the volume levels and things like that. Um, okay, then. Here we go. You're listening to Luke's English Podcast. For more information, visit teacherluke.co.uk. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Luke's English Podcast. That's right. That's the name of the podcast, right? Luke's English Podcast. My name's Luke, and this is my podcast. And generally speaking, it's about English, but uh, we, I do also go on about all sorts of other things. But the main idea is that it's going to help you to learn English. How are you? All right? Having a nice day? Or night? Or evening? Or morning? I don't know what time of day it is where you are. I don't know where you are, in fact... Uh, but if I have a quick look on my website at this moment, I get an idea of where people are in the world. At least the people who are on my website. Because, you know, it's pretty complicated to get things like um, listener statistics, website visit statistics, things like that. I've got statistics on the sites that tell me basically how many times each page gets visited and things like that. But for people who are online right now, I do actually have like this globe thing, a kind of map on my website that tells you where people are. Um, and uh, th that's people who are actually on the page at the time that uh, you're looking at it. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, it's all about learning English, this. Uh, okay. This has gone wrong already, hasn't it? I don't know. Anyway, right. So, anyway, if I look at the map, I can see there's someone in Madrid, someone in Paddington in England, someone in, uh, in Italy, in Turkey, uh, a number of people in, in Russia. Oh, someone's just arrived in Poland there, someone in, uh, in Ukraine, um, all over the shop, basically. Someone in Taipei. Oh, they're everywhere. So, anyway, I've got Lepsters all over the world listening. Oh, someone in Brazil there as well. Okay. People all over the shop uh, looking at the website. Um, anyway, Luke, get to the point. Yes, all right then. Here's a new episode for you. And uh, in the last couple of episodes, do you remember what happened? Uh, do you remember what our plans were? Um, yes, in the last one, Amber and I talked about Christmas and all that stuff. 
Uh, but also, you might remember that we were planning to go and visit Paul on the set of his TV show and record a podcast while we were doing it. And that's what we did uh, last Thursday afternoon. We went down to the 7th arrondissement of Paris, which is a rather posh district on the left bank of the River Seine. Uh, and there we saw the film crew, a few scenes being filmed, and Amber and I even appeared in one of those extra uh, scenes. Not extra scenes, no. We appeared in one of those scenes as extras. You know, extras are those people just sort of in the background. They don't. They probably don't have a speaking part. They're just people in the background, like people eating in a restaurant or people walking past in the background. They call them extras. So Amber and I appear in one of uh, Paul's videos as extras uh, in the background. Um, so when the video is released, eventually, you'll be able to see us briefly. And it will be, um, I think it's going to be the one about French cinema. So when that one is released on Paul's YouTube channel, have a look and you might see uh, Amber and me in the background. Uh, by the way, Paul's TV show is broadcast on Saturday evenings on, fr on a French TV station called Canal Plus. And then after that, uh, a week later, the videos are released onto YouTube. Uh, and um, his YouTube channel is called What the F*** France. Okay? What the F*** France. What? Okay. What the fuck France. That's the name of the, the, the channel. Okay? He's like, what the fuck France? And he talks about the kind of um, moments of culture shock that uh, an English person might have when living in France. Okay. Um, now... Uh, last Thursday, unfortunately, they weren't filming in the English pub as expected because um, Paul told us that they would be filming in an English pub, which sounded amazing. Uh, but in fact, they weren't filming in the English pub uh, because they did that in the morning. So no beer or crisps or warmth or beer. Instead, we joined them while they were filming in the street outside a little church. So instead, it's a street, a church and no warmth or beer, unfortunately. Uh, but despite the harsh conditions and the and the lack of beer and crisps, I brought my recording equipment and we did a podcast while standing around with the film crew there and all the local Parisian people in the street going about their lives, walking past us and even talking to us at certain moments. In fact, there's a moment at the beginning uh, where you'll hear a couple of Parisian people talking. Uh, s some people just asked us a question in the street. Um, so you're going to hear in this episode the recording that I made uh, on the street there while Phil, uh, Paul was filming his show. And you're going to hear descriptions of what was happening during the recording and also some general chat with Amber. Um, there were also a couple of moments where Paul stopped shooting and came over to join us uh, with a few other people too in some cases, including Robert Hain, who you might remember from the Have You Ever episodes recently. Episodes? episode. It was just one episode, wasn't it? Yes. So as well as the conversation and descriptions, there is some English teaching in this episode because while standing there on the street, I realised that I had 12 idioms in my pocket written on bits of paper. Uh, of course I did because as an English teacher, that's the kind of thing I have in my pocket. Just a bunch of idioms written on bits of paper. Um, and it Because it always pays to be prepared as an English teacher. Um, so I sometimes have teaching materials in my pocket or up my sleeve. Um, for example, I might just have like bits of photocopied worksheets, like for example, this that I've just discovered lying around on my desk. This is a, a worksheet um, about future predictions, uh, which might be a future episode of this podcast. Anyway, um, so as an English teacher, I do sometimes have teaching materials in my pocket or up my sleeve. Not literally up my sleeve. That's just an idiom. Uh, you know, for example, if you have an idea up your sleeve, it just means that you, you kind of got an idea so stored or saved in an accessible place. But it doesn't mean literally up your sleeve. Your sleeve obviously is part of your clothing, like the bit of clothing that covers your arm. That's your sleeve. So I've got a few ideas up my sleeve or I've got a few ideas in the back of my head. These are just phrases to mean that you've got some ideas that are sort of uh, available to you. Um, all right. So anyway, um, in this case, uh, I had uh, some idioms on bits of paper in my pocket. I actually had those idioms on me for another podcast episode that I'd planned ages before but didn't do. 
But the idioms came in handy this time and provided us with some teaching content for you uh, for this episode. Um, so all the idioms that you're going to hear were taken from the Oxford Idioms Dictionary, which I do have here somewhere. There it is. The Oxford Idioms Dictionary. Um, I've got a copy of it here. Those are the pages you can hear. That's the actual book. So all the idioms that you're going to hear came from the Oxford Idioms Dictionary. Um, and um, so what happened was I went through the dictionary and I picked out some, some idioms that uh, I could then teach to you on the podcast. Uh, and I chose them quite carefully because I think that the idioms I selected are all expressions which are commonly used today because some idioms, although they're still part of the language, they're not that common and they sound a bit weird when you use them. But I tried to choose ones that I think are still used, you know, quite a lot today. Um, now, I could list all of those idioms for you here in the introduction in advance and even teach them to you in advance, but I'm not going to do that because actually I want to encourage you to notice the idioms for yourselves uh, because that's a good skill to develop if you can develop it. You know, you should always be on the lookout for bits of language which you can identify and eventually make part of your active vocabulary. So listen carefully uh, and try to notice the idioms and then keep listening because in the second part of the lesson, Amber and I explain all the idioms to you, so it will all be clarified. Um, so that's what you're going to get. A podcast recorded in the street with all the sound effects of what was happening around us, a couple of guest appearances, and then 12 common English idioms taught by me and Amber, or Amber and me, in fact. So I hope that you're feeling comfortable and you're cosy and warm because it was bitterly cold on the streets of Paris when we recorded this. Um, so I recommend listening to this one when you're at, when you're indoors, with the heating turned on and a hot drink nearby. Or if you're outside, make sure you're wearing a, th a pair of thick woolen mittens or gloves and a warm hat. Unless, of course, you're in a hot place like Australia or something, in which case you can just bask in the, in the hot weather and uh, try to avoid being bitten by a snake or a spider or something. Uh, and if you're in Brazil, uh, then, you know, just go to the beach or something and get ready for that big party that you're going to have on Christmas Eve. Because apparently that's what uh, people do in Brazil. They all go to the beach and have a massive party. Um, I don't know what the people of Brasilia do because they are hundreds of miles away from the beach. I don't know. Guys, what do you do? If you're living in Brasilia, which is the capital of Brazil... Um, and it's sort of in the, it's sort of not on the coast, let's say. What do the people of Brasilia do uh, on, on Christmas Eve? Because everyone else apparently is going to the beach. I don't know. You can let me know. Um, anyway, now let's go back in time to last Thursday afternoon on the very chilly streets of the 7th arrondissement of Paris with a film crew and rich old Parisian ladies walking around. And let's begin the episodes and remember... Can you spot the 12 idioms? Do you know them? And can you use them? Here we go. Okay, I've paused the... I've, that made a noise. I've paused the podcast there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use that like that. I might edit it because there was a bit there at the beginning where I was talking... I was trying to talk about the map. Um, I was trying to talk about uh, people listening uh, and people on the website and statistics and numbers. But... I kind of didn't really make a lot of sense, I think. We'll see. I might just cut that out of the the proper recording. Um, but anyway, there you go. All right. That's it. That's it for the video. Hey! All right, then.